Ooh, what's up, ladies and gents? It's your boy Rome in the house. Dark days are upon us. Of course, I do not mean dark days, as in the inevitable fall of mankind, as the world becomes a new Babylon. But I mean dark days as in our next Reaper quest. So let's make our way to the Sapphire Exchange as usual. I'm not sure why I'm running. I could have just been lazy and teleported from there. Also, I've uh, just noticed that um, it turned out I hadn't actually registered my copy of this game somehow. So that's why I wasn't getting the rewards I should have in this game. But there's a very nice, neat reward. Which I'll show you guys at some point during this journey. Uh, now, Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Let's go! Okay, so we there now. There we go. To the back alleys, of course, because it's a bit of a secret operation, as they say. We're getting there. Level 77. Unfortunately, though, bit of an issue. Uh, uploading something. Oh, okay, I think that's fine. It's pretty much uploaded. There you go. I don't need to upload something at the same time now. Um, I did record my previous videos. There was a couple of videos where it was a bit slow or a bit janky. And then I ref checked it all out. And turns out it's just because of the server load. Um, so, yeah. Well, if it ain't Black Dragon, you headed in? Yes, I am. To the Lemur headquarters. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Lemur, Lemur, Lemamar? Drusilla. Drusilla is awaiting word from Arnesius. Apologies, Black Dragon, but we're still waiting on Arnesius to come through. There's not much for you to do around here until then, unless you have a knack for cleaning. Hermin is good at reading out promising stories and whatnot, but getting to the truth of those stories is a craft as delicate as weaving. I'm sure you've seen firsthand how one bad bit of information can lead to elaborate plans coming apart at the seams. Boss, boss! Calm down, lad. Breathe. What's gotten into you? It's Arnesius. He's... He's been murdered! What? Tell me I heard that wrong. I'm afraid not. The brass blades found him half buried in the sands not bells ago. Just... Just lying there like some bloody animal carcass. They're bringing him to Aral League's burial chamber as, as we speak. Whoever did this doesn't know the reckoning they've got coming. Before I'm done with them, they'll be begging to crawl back into their mother's womb. I want justice as much as you, Herman. I do. But it's time like these that we need to look to the boss for guidance. As you can see, Black Dragon, emotions are running high. I should stay here until Herman cools off. Can you let the boss know we're standing by and waiting for her command? Like, as not she's gone to pay respect. Okay, I didn't expect that. Arnesius, our good uh, fellow, our best, our bestie in this quest, our bestie in this questy. That's a new one. <laughs> uh, hopefully that catches on. Better days coming. Just going to permit Susius Guild. Okay. okay, what am I doing? I could just go there, use one of this portal. Ah, too late now. Might as well just run all the way. Let's 
it's quite a few quests I still haven't done. The Rise and Fall of a Gentleman is one. Um, definitely want to try that out. Ah yes, the sights and sounds of Ulda. Very mellow the sun looks today. There she is. Sorry, Black Dragon, I ain't in the mood for chit chat. Where's the bloody keeper? My lady. Pretty, my lady pretty, the dead must be let to rest. The dead are going to have one more among them if you don't shut your trap and listen. The brass blades bought, brought in a body not long ago. Show me to it. Ah yes, that they did. But are you the deceased's family? If not, I'm afraid we cannot... Family? Family? Arnesius was like a son to me. Like a son. Ordinarily that would be... <clears throat> it is interred in the innermost coffin. However, I must advise you not to gaze upon the body. Madam, uh, if she insists, then so be it. God damn it, Arnesius. I told you to not go and get yourself. Don't, Black Dragon. This isn't for you. I'm sorry for barging in here and for all the, for all the bluster. If you can forgive my rudeness, promise me that Arnesius gets sent off well and proper. Of course he shall be. However, if you wish to inter him within the city gate, well, that sort after space comes to at no small expense. I don't care what it costs. Just send your man to Lemur's headquarters to collect what you require. Black Dragon, I appreciate you coming to find me, but there's something, someone else I have to speak to first. I'm heading to Stone's Throw. Come along if you, please. But come along in silence. Ah oh man, not Arnesius. That is not good. Stone's throw is at the gate. Is that it? Go for the quest. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, I understand. Huh? Gate. Ventures Guild.
This is where Arnegis' dear wife earns her living. Let's get this over with. Arnesius never forgot the debt he owed you, the debt we both owed you. Even so, his loyalty ran even deeper than that. It's a strange thing to look back on the people we were, a decade younger and a lifetime more foolish. Young lovers, proud patriots, blissfully ignorant, returning to Locus Ammonis, the cradle of our people. triumphant homecoming for the Garleans after centuries in exile. The once mighty invaders had been laid low and driven back whence they came, and it was a banner day when Arnesius was honored with a post there. The honor and pride quickly faded when we saw the truth of Locus Amonus. We hadn't just defeated our enemies, we had clapped them in irons and condemned them to a life of servitude. Descendants of those who driven our ancestors north so many generations ago, made to pay for the crimes of their forebears, his superiors were certainly pleased with the poetry of it all. Arnesius, however, could not simply look away from their suffering, let alone take pleasure in it. Confronted with the reality of the place we, call, we would call home, his conscience demanded he take action. He began cooperating with the resistance and the eyes of the Brumentarium are all seeing, and before long he was ousted as a sympathizer to us only by the grace of good fortune that we escaped our lives. I've often lain awake at night wondering if he had outlived his usefulness to the resistance, or perhaps it was a petty senior officer that orchestrated our fall. Regardless of the cause, the outcome was the same. We could never return to the Empire. We fled to Eorzea by way of Rads at hand, the only route open to us. It wasn't soon after stepping foot on the docks of Limsa Luminsa that your luck ran out, as I recall, stopped by yellow jackets and accused of being Imperial spies. Aye, but we still managed to make an escape, and we ran and ran, terrified that our pursuers would one day catch up to us. That is, until we met you. Had you not taken us under your wing when you did, I shudder to imagine our fate. Your gratitude's the last thing I deserve, lass. If I hadn't sent Arnesius off on my damned fool's errand, he'd still be alive. It was Orcus that killed him, and no mistake. He died for my vengeance. I can't tell you how sorry I am. No. You didn't need an apologize. I I know I know he was happy. So long as he was helping you, he was happy. The blame for his death doesn't rest on your shoulders. It rests on the man, the monster, that murdered him in cold blood. And I expect you to see he answers for this crime. For me and for Arnesius. I will, lass. I will. On this I swear everything that I have to swear. We need to talk, Black Dragon. Somewhere with fewer prying eyes. Come meet me at the bridge to the north.
been a while. It's been a while since there's been a quest like this. I owe you an apology, Black Dragon, for not telling you everything about me and Orcus from the start. I dragged you into a fight against a foe that's cunning, brutal and utterly merciless. I thought with all of us together we'd tip the scales in our favor. But I was wrong, and Arnegis paid the price for my hubris. That void scent we tracked in the Black Shroud was likely one of Orcus's minions, but I was too caught up in my guard grand scheme to realize it at the time. I should have thought about why I tried to hide that body. Your common void scent wouldn't have the guile to bury a kill. But what if Orcus taught it that as many But what if Orcus taught it that as a way to throw trackers off its scent? and to dangle bait for me and mine. Orcus has used that same trick in the past, and he knows that we know it too. By dispatching his minion, we drew his attention. Arnesius was a warning. Orcus doesn't give his prey swift deaths. He toys with them, cuts into them, and savors the screams. That's how I knew he was responsible. It's like a signature. The way he leaves the bodies when he's had his fill. I only pray Arnesius doesn't take that suffering with him to the next life. Orcus be coming for you or me next. Not right away though. It'll be giving up that game. He wants to keep looking over his sh our shoulders, sleeping with one eye open. He'll wear us down without even lifting a finger. And when he finally strikes, we'll be dead on our feet. Play things for him to do with he, as he pleases. That won't do. We need to bring the fight to him. No more waiting around for a lead to come to us. It won't be easy. But can I still count on your help? Or Arnesius. Thank you, Black Dragon. And if you've got no qualm risking life and limb to fight for Arnesius, to fight for me, then I've got no qualm calling you a member of my family. Family. A curious word, that. Bloody, it's him, Black Dragon, Orcus. Some persistent rats were nimbling at my tail. I should have known by their stench it was you and yours, Drusilla. Or should I call you... Granddaughter? Shut your mouth, you thrice damned monster! Monster? Is that any way to greet a beloved elder? Children these days. It seems one death wasn't punishment enough for you. A second death should suffice for the scant remainder of your being. Black Dragon, we're ending this here and now. Follow my lead. I 
I thought we might savor our reunion for a little while longer. But if you insist, I shall feast upon your beating heart here and now. Ah, not but dregs left in that desiccated vessel of yours. Too long has a hide been left in the sun. But your family has been replenished with fresh blood, I see. My, my, and what a bounteous soul this one has. Your sight may be dull, but your eye is as sharp as ever. Blinding as the sun, pure as the snow. <laughs> Delectable as a boar. I had thought to make a quick meal of you, but perhaps just this once, forbearance is in order. Such a singular specimen must be given time to fatten, to fulfill its succulent potential. But be a travesty to consume you ere you achieve perfection. When your soul is ripe with fear, swollen with hatred, and fit to burst with despair, I shall return for you, Black Dragon, and I shall gorge. Until that time, sup well, my growing whelp. Curse these old bones. He was right in front of me. I could have ended it in one swing. For a moment, just one moment, I saw it all again. My family, slaughtered, lying at his feet. My life slipping away. And that was enough. Doubtless you have more than a few questions. I'll answer them, I promise. But now's not the time. Trust me. Standing around kicking the sand won't change what's done. Let's return to headquarters and let the wind cool our heads and we can consider our next course of action. You know what's very interesting about the reaper is that the artwork for the reaper has that uh, uh, the lion type race that this game has I always forget their name and they're like the least played race in the game and I think when they made that art I think they thought it might get more people to play that but uh, yeah it doesn't seem like it's made a difference was my own fault if I hadn't stood there slack jawed if I wasn't so damned slow we'd be rid of that abomination once and for all when you saw when you saw used to be my grandfather wait, what you saw used to be my grandfather before Orcus took over he looks green enough to be my own grandchild now trick of the void like as not 
It's no secret that if a void sin doesn't want to devour you, it probably wants to take possession of your flesh. But Orcus has a particular talent for it. And as you doubtless surmised, he's got an insatiable craving for ether. Killing is only a prelude to the act of gulping, o gulping own down own essence. Gulping down our essence like a drought of ale after a day's work. He's old. I can't say exactly how old. And he's acquired a taste for the finer things. Seems your soul counts among the finest he's ever seen. Things just keep betting, getting better for us, don't they? Wouldn't be the first time someone set their sights on my soul. Is that so? Used to being a prize pig, are we? Any road, it's clear that safety is no longer something we can take for granted. Not even in a crowded street, not even in the middle of the day. Keep your eyes peeled and watch out for those terrible red eyes. We're sitting chocobos for the moment, but I'll think of something and send for you as soon as I can. Until then, never sleep far from your side. Right, never sleep far from your side. But never sleep. Right, next quest is at level 28. I believe that might be the second last quest. Thanks for joining me guys on our um, next Reaper quest. Sorry for the strange sound that was coming up at, in the middle of the cutscenes. Uh, so, yeah, goodbye.